Hello, hello, and good afternoon. It is around lunchtime, almost one o'clock, I believe. <clears throat> what I have here in this little container is the diamond pure, also with the other one here. And the pink one here is called the abrasive stone, the buffer, and the drill just in case you want to puncture a hole in the acrylic nail and some sanders. So, the reason I'm showing you that is because I have this drill. It works very, very well, and I am going to show you the speed of this drill. So that's the slowest it'll go, okay? When you turn all the way up, that's how fast it is. Just like what you see at the salon. But this is a wired, uh, this is actually, you plug into the wall, and it has the end of itself to where you actually connect it to the, the, the wall plug-in. And it's got a longer cord to it. So basically, you have a very long cord to extend. This is the sander. This is the metal mandrake. All you have to do is I'm going to show you how to insert and take it out and replace it. Okay? So you're just going to push this button. And you're going to turn to the left. And you're just going to uh, just pull it out. And then to put it back in, you're going to hold it down again. And you're going to turn to the right. And then you're going to let go, and it's going to click. So it's letting you know that it's on secure. So I love this thing, and I highly recommend this to all you ladies that do your acrylics at home. Because this is the best drill that I ever had. And I'm pretty sure it's cheap. So. This is the nail that I did yesterday. This is actually a stiletto nail. Uh, as you can see, it is kind of rough around its edges because I really tried to glue a tip on it, and it didn't really work. So I had to make my own tip. Of course, that's what I did when I first did a project on this finger now. And I will mention my Facebook page on the next video tutorial that I do, which I'm pretty sure will be a water marble um, I'm going to do for my nails. I'm trying to find a design that I like, but I haven't really found out what I want to do to it because I decided to go natural. Um, of course, I did my own nails. I decided to do a natural look. Because if I do a design that I don't like, then I'm going to keep taking it off and keep wearing out my nail and my acrylic. So, I don't want to do that. I just want to find a design that I'm going to like for a while and keep it on there. So, this is the little that I did. And it has some studs on it, some glitter, some accessories. So, that's basically what I did. You know, let me know what you think. You can comment below if you'd like. And this is basically what I used. And here's some more here. You can actually get these at the Family Dollar. And each of those come in one little box with two clear nail polishes. Okay, so, and also I have some glitter here. That's what I had on that nail with this kind of glitter. If I'm going to open it really quick, I'm going to show you what it looks like. This is what it is. Very shiny, very glittery, and very pretty. So it comes to these and the nail polish that you see here also I want to explain what this is this was a clear nail polish but I put a couple of drops in here so that when I apply it to my nails it makes it look natural I do have some Sally Hansen nail polish okay and so the names of it is called tough chicken limestone I'm gonna do like a fall color for the water marble so that's the other video that I'm gonna to try to do for you okay so what I have here is called the tease Focus in there with the camera. There you go. And this one is called pretty much the current. This is what it's called. This is also from L. A color. This is the sinful color. This is the uh, ne yeah the neon melon. This one is called shock. This one is called the jewel tone. From far away, it's very sparkly, and I think you'd have to put a whole lot of coats to get that that good color. So. Dirty sapphires, like a purplish color, also from Sally Hansen. This is L and K Purple Delight. This is my nail art, right here. This is the the purple and blue glitter. This is the gold glitter. You can see there. And this is the bright orange, and this is the white. What I did to my nails is that I made it like a natural look, just to give it that natural look. I just put one coat, just one coat. I didn't go back and put another coat, just one little coat, and that's it. And I put the clear 
Sally Hansen. Okay, I do want to talk about this. What I used was the C and D, the pure pink acrylic powder, and it works great. It's not too pink. It's not pink pink. Uh, it's just in between. It's perfect. That's why it's called the perfect color. <laughs> okay, and what I used on my first project of for this nail, uh, for the white tip was also for the second project. I actually showed it on my second project. It's really clear when they apply it. Um, even after buffing it, when you're filing it, and when it comes to shining, it is so clear. You can just, well, my opinion, you can just put clear nail polish and you're good to go. But that's how clear it is. And I had to use the, the Walmart brand, the acrylic liquid. So I think it works okay with it. Uh, the difference between this one, it doesn't go as clear even though you use the same brand of acrylic liquid. It doesn't go on clear as the Aspire does. So that's pretty much everything I wanted to show you. And um, my next tutorial will be about the uh, water marble that I'm going to do for my nails. So I'm going to go ahead and get some artificial nails, get them glued, and see what I like the most and what I like best. So we'll see how that goes, and uh, if I like what I do, and if I like what I see and what I make, then I will put on my nails, and I'll do a video tutorial for you guys. So you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching. If you have any more comments or anything else you want to know or any other videos you want me to do, just comment below and on my next video, I will uh, give you my Facebook page so you guys can check it out. Alright, so my, my Twitter link's down below. So you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching and talk to you later.